Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from executeautomation.com and today we can talk about Catalan Recorder, one of the replacement for Selenium IDE for Chrome browser. Well, we all know that Catalan Studio is one of the most popular open source free tool available on the market right now and it has been releasing so many things which is currently not even available in some of the proprietary softwares. And Catalan Studio is very, very famous because of its simplicity and availability with a lot of new features and updates every time it releases new versions of it. Well, Catalan Recorder is another piece of tool which is available by Catalan team, which is more a replacement of Selenium IDE because Selenium IDE is no longer supported from Firefox version 55. And the reason is because Selenium IDE was maintained by only one person and it is not going to be really really useful by many of the people because there are none of the core contributors available to do that and that's why it has been taken down but Catalan Recorder has a very big team who are actually developing it and you can look at it that it really has a lot of feature while compared to Selenium IDE something like you can see that it can be exported with different languages and even robot framework if you're interested in and also it is even supported the latest version of firefox and chrome browsers that is really cool and you can see that uh, there are so many users available for this particular catalan recorder as like selenium ide and the review is really cool so let's quickly see in action and understand how things work so i'm going to add that into my chrome which is already available and you can see that the Catalan Recorder itself has a very, very simple UI, pretty much exactly like how it looks for Selenium IDE, but just that it is really nicely built because it has some other cool feature which we'll be looking at right now. And you can even export the code to the Catalan Studio and you can run the code and see how it works. Well, I'm going to record a very, very simple test case and see how it works. So for that, I'm going to create a new test case and I'm going to call this as uh, execute automation uh, TC and I'm going to hit OK. And this time I'm actually going to record using uh, execute automation demo site. And it's going to take me to this particular website. I'm going to copy that and I'm going to go all the way over here to uh, the record button. And you can see that I don't really have to type that particular uh, page, whatever I'm going to do right now is going to be taken as the input for that particular uh, recorder. So I'm going to record using and you can see that once I click it, it's going to show me some message there in my Mac operating system and I'm going to type uh, admin and you can see that it's again bringing in or is that again admin It's recording all those stuffs and I'm going to hit login which is really a cool toast there and it's showing me all those information pretty much like how it does things for me, which is really cool. So, uh, all right, and then I'm gonna click Mr. And then I'm just gonna enter some value there, something like this. So you can see that I'm intentionally entering so many wrong values there. And I just wanna see if the recorder is not intelligent enough to uh, not record those options. So I'm gonna delete that, uh, I'm gonna select that. And then I'm gonna hit save. There we go. And then I'm gonna hover to spec flow, or maybe I'm gonna hover all the way to Selenium IDE. There we go, that's it, that's my recording. And I'm gonna stop my recorder. So for that, I'm just gonna go to the Catalan Studio recorder, and I'm gonna stop recording. And you can see that it has opened that website, uh, which I just opened with a tab. And then I entered the username as admin so there is a click operation here which i don't think we really require them so even that uh, we can just delete it very easily here delete this command and then entering the username and password and then i'm clicking that button it has identified using the css so you can see that it has identification property there you can also highlight if you want to so let's say if i want to highlight that uh which is going to be demo.html there are so many bugs in the app and if I want to highlight this particular uh, element, if I want to, I can select that and then I can just hit this. You can see that it is highlighting me. And if I want to highlight that uh, login, so you can see it is highlighting me there, which is really cool. And I don't really have to uh, have this particular stuff. So probably 
I can delete this particular command as well. And then it's click the login. And then you can see that it is entering all those stuff. I can select these two commands uh, and delete command. And again, delete uh, command. Then it's going to enter the title, uh, initial, and then first name, middle name. Uh, and you can see that it has entered the name Karthik perfectly without just entering all the garbled value that I was trying to enter there. Uh, and then it is selecting all the values and it's performing the operation. So let's quickly run this and see how it actually behaves. So I'm going to run this by clicking the play button. So it's going to the website. It is entering and then selecting Mr. KK Karthik and it is selecting Hindi and it should navigate me to the drop down. So the hovering option is also per working without any problem. Did you see that? It is just working without any problem there. Pretty fast and straightforward. And I guess this is really, really a replacement for Selenium IDE than compared to Selenium IDE itself because Selenium IDE even have some failures like waiting problems and even the command is not that straightforward. But this is really cool. And you can see there is an option where you can upload the logs to the Catalan analytics straight away. Really cool. Because if you remember in my previous videos, we are talking about Catalan analytics. You can just configure that. The same thing you can do over from here as well, which we'll be talking later. But now just try to export this. If I click this export button, you can see the code is automatically coming in here with the Selenium command for that particular element. So if you want to export this particular code, instead of using the uh, Catalan Studio, you can use, if you want to uh, export with the C Sharp, there we go. The whole code comes in here. And the good thing is it also writes its own method to switch to the element or switch to the alert and close the alert and get the text out from it. All those methods are coming out of the box in here. Similarly, you can choose uh, different frameworks. Let's say for test ng, it comes in for the test ng version. And if you want to select the J unit version, J unit version also comes in, which is really, really cool. I guess these are some of the great things which even Selenium IDE doesn't really have it. And you can also export this to the robot framework. This is one of the really, really greatest thing that I can really imagine about. So these are the cool things which is available in Catalan Recorder and it is really not available in Selenium IDE itself. So you can copy this, you can save as file. And also, as I said, you can also export this to Catalan Analytics Beta. So if you have uh, the login for the Catalan Analytics as like I have, you can just log in here and if you run the test, it is going to export this particular uh, logs that you just executed into this particular stuff. So now that I have just logged in and let me play it again. So let's see what's going to happen. So it is going to do blah, blah, blah. It's just going to enter all those details. And now I just expect the Catalan recorder to export all my logs over there. Now you can see the window is completely different and it is asking me to choose the test project, exit automation or test project. So these are the two different projects which I have in the Catalan Analytics. As you remember in our previous video, we created them. It is automatically coming in here. I'm going to hit upload. Super. So it has completely uploaded everything there. And now if I go to the analytics.catalan.com in here, you can see that it is also showing me this particular code. This is the day which I'm recording this video. Uh, as you can see here, 30th Jan 2018. This is the one, 30th Jan 2018. The test got passed, it just executed for nine seconds. And you can also see the complete log of record. So you can hit the uh, CSV actions and you can get the CSV actions here in the Excel sheet. Oops. And also if you can hit that particular stuff, you can get the detailed analytics information as we discussed in our previous video. These are the cool things I would really see, which is available only in Catalan Recorder, which is completely not available in Selenium IDE. So I guess Catalan Recorder is a really good replacement of Selenium IDE. And I really think that this is very, very helpful and handy to write a very simple straightforward code without even spending a single minute of coding effort. Once again, thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.